really got you the last And there. it's time now for AT&T Countdown to the CFP National Championship. And, yes, the countdown is on because the final set of rankings will be released tomorrow. But we will jump the committee and we will make our picks now. So you won't even have to uh, look it because we're all right. We're all right here on the We don't uh, need the committee. So, uh, Scooby, we're going to start with you. We got the handy-dandy iPad out. Ooh. We'll go 4, 3, 2, 1. Your best, because that's what the committee said, best teams right now. All right. So this is – Starting at th four. Th this is what I – I believe, yes. I believe that the fourth best team in the country is going to be Bama. Okay. okay Bama is four. in, baby. Alabama. Roll Tide. After that okay. type of win against Georgia. Oh, four, sorry, sorry. Four. That's my bad. After that type of win, you got to get them in the SEC champion against the back-to-back -back, um, national champion. Yep. Huge win. Jalen Moro has been playing at a phenomenal level. At number three. Yep. Texas. Okay. Texas is getting in at number All three. Right. All right. Yes, I am about that. You got to have them in if you're going to put Bama in. If you want to. That's the argument. But right? That's, that's how you got to have it. In I'm my humble of opinion of what I think. So we're going to go with Texas at number three. And then at the second spot, we are going with Michigan. You're going Michigan, Michigan at the two. So they in the country. Hold on, so I think we know who's won here, Scoop. Yeah, uh, you know what I'm about to do. Michigan, I'm ready to. Yet to see you play. Offense has not been that impressive. And number one, I'm going to go ahead and rock with Washington. Washington, Washington. had the most impressive <laughs> win the other night, mm -hmm. last night, against Oregon. And I'm, at, and I'm going with them for the number a one lot of undefeated. A lot of people have said chance. Oregon is playing like the best team in the country. So when you had everyone doubting Washington, they're nine and a half point dogs. They go in and do what they did. I, I can see it. I can see it. Maddie, what do you think about Scoob's list before we get to yours? You know, I like this list a lot. There's a lot that I really like about it. Okay. Now, the, my one problem is, uh, is that we're, uh -huh. again, we're assuming that they won. Yes, that okay, is Okay, awesome. so I got a problem with that. So for that, just for the sake of this exercise. Uh, no, don't do that. And also to annoy Michigan fans. Yeah. Michigan, number four. Wow. Number four. Just to annoy you at home. Don't take it personally, all right? But you got to win the game first. All right, then at number three, Alabama. You're going Bama three. Bama, okay. number three, Sh SEC champ. You're going bowling. Shelby, stop hating on my list. Shelby, <laughs> he's, he's in the chat. Play hey, nice, Shelby. Shelby, get out of here. <laughs> number, We're trying to work. Number two <laughs> is Texas. Oh, number two. So you same mindset. Is if Texas. Alabama gets in, so does Texas. And then number one is Washington. So oh. we get a Washington Michigan first round matchup, That's which I love. And then a Texas Alabama rematch. <laughs> Let's go. I like that. I like that list. I like that list. That's unbelievable. It, we got the same four, though. We we're, got the same four. Yeah, yeah just a different order. I think everybody's missing somebody here. Oh, come on. Who? You're really going to do that? Who? Uh, you think Florida they're going to win? Florida State at number four. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's say they win tonight. Yeah, let's if, say it. Let, let me just say this before, before I do the next three. The committee has said that it's not their job, or it's not in their lexicon, I think was the words they used. What a word. Um, to determine who is the most deserving, to your points. They're, they're just, they want to say who the best team is. Yeah. But they've contradicted themselves, because if that, if that has been the case, how does Cincinnati get into the college football playoff? Was Michigan State one of the best teams in the country in 2015? Oh, he yeah, can't. I can't go back that far. I'm I just can't. Saying, honestly, with how difficult this year has been, I can't go back to okay. yesterday. <laughs> oh, we, should all, we should all be working off of the same <laughs> no. fact sheet yeah. and definition. This you know? is already taking up way too many right. chromosomes in my, you know, and just so, everything. The synapses in my brain are ready to burst from Jim Harbaugh in so, Michigan he anyway. Said I can't go you back know? to yesterday. <laughs> it's just too much, man. It's too much. I, I can't take it. I, listen. I, what do you got? This is a prediction of the of what I think the committee will. That's do. That's a fun matchup, though. This okay. is what I think the committee will do. All right. So you that can switch is the, Alabama that, and Washington if you. That want. is the matchup that Michigan wants. So they're gonna get boat raced in the. I don't even. This isn't even a fun playoff, Sam. What's fun of this besides? Hey. Tell on, the committee man. that. I, I, listen, I think this is – you could switch these if you want. If you want to go here, you could switch them. But I, I, Look at you on the on the telestrator well, there. This has been 13 weeks, yeah. my friend. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I don't know. No, but I mean, see, this is the thing. You're being so disrespectful right here to Tejas, okay? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, leaving them out like that. You think Florida State can beat Texas? 
And let me just say. No, to, I don't. To, to the people so, out there. Then why are we put him in there? I keep receipts, right? And I wish we could <laughs> run this back because last week, Sam and I had this specific discussion and said, if Alabama beats Georgia, do they get in over Texas? Well, I actually, and Sam was yes. like, oh, yeah, yeah. That's true. They're going to get in <laughs> over Texas because you get, yes. but you've got to have Texas in there. I, 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 okay. I, I, I should move my name and put the committees in there because <laughs> you, I actually just put what the, I think the committee will do. Right, what no, Sam no, think? no doubt. What Sam think? But this yeah. is the thing. You even said it too. The committee, and either the, even Heather what? said it okay, on so our Sam, show. Sam thinks that Texas should yeah. get in. Yeah. This is what we should get as a, for, from the committee. Man, because now, we all have the same four. This, this is, is what But it's a difference between should and what we might get and that and that's my concern I, yeah. I don't think necessarily that Florida State is the best team best top four in the country but you you've heard Heather say it it's not about who's deserving or whatever they're literally just saying who are the best four teams in the country and I think all of us can agree this is probably the best four teams in the country and, right and now. to your to your point uh, Matt and this is a text from um, a tweet from Heather Dinich just when um, the committee dropped their numbers. So she said, CFP Executive Director Bill Hancock said the committee's job is to rank the best teams in college football. And that most deserving is not anything in the committee's lexicon. They are there to rank the best teams in order and that's what they do. So keep that in mind. FSU is the most deserving team. I'll give you that, but they are not the best team, and if the committee's job is to put in the best team, how do you leave Alabama and Texas out? Uh, I'll say this. If Texas were to miss the playoff, they would become the first one-loss Power Five conference champion to miss the playoff since 2018, and that was Ohio State. And it we hasn't know, happened often. And we know how the committee feels about the SEC, by the way that they've consistently ranked the SEC. Even when we were extremely hard on the SEC, when we ranked them, what, maybe third as the best conference yeah. in football, right? And this was like maybe week two or three. It was yeah. early on in the year. Now, hey, we were, we were messing with your hearts at home a little bit when we were doing that. But the committee thinks very highly of the SEC and its quality of play and, and, and the strength of schedule of even – the the lesser teams you know in it now florida state has that victory over lsu yeah but since then there's not a lot to their name that they can claim as a great sure. win you know mm. versus a quality opponent and and unfortunately lsu i mean louisville losing to kentucky a five loss football team a week ago also doesn't help them if they beat them tonight in a close game all right so Based on our top four, Which we all crazy. we all I have the like same we all have the same top four. Yeah, same four different, teams. Different Scott. ordering, different ordering. <laughs> and and mind you, the, we we did not look at these. We did not know what each one of no. us was going to have. So I, I think that's really interesting. The fact that we still came up with the top four, and the fact that you had Washington at number one. Well, well, I only did that just because of Michigan. You know, they haven't played yet, so I kind of felt okay, bad so if, even putting them in if there. If Michigan wins. The way that they're if supposed Michigan to win. Michigan wins, it's going to be flipped. It's going to be you, you, Michigan one, Washington okay, okay. four, and I still have Think the so. rematch. Okay. Yeah. All right, what if Michigan doesn't? Just because I want to see those matchups. That's just for me personally. But like, do, do you think there's a chance that Washington is first? Uh, does Sam's which list here, chat, makes the most mo, makes the most sense? Michigan Sam, one is going to be the. Is that's one that makes it. sense they're in terms of the committee. Okay. They're going to stay number one. They're they're going to move up the ladder, right? They're going to be number one. You just shift everybody up. Right. Much, They're going right. to shift everybody up. You know, Washington being number two, undefeated Pac-12 champion. And then under that will be Texas, Alabama, if I had to guess exactly how the committee would do it. I, I, I don't know. I, I think everybody is, is thinking in the mindset, it's Alabama and Texas. They're in. I, I just caution everybody because Florida State was number four this week. You're right. So and, You're right. And, and this would be Let's say they huge. go out and they beat Louisville. This game is still is about to be played. They could go out and win that game, and then it makes the committee's job a whole lot harder. I'm Inject not saying they will get in, but that yeah, you're right. into my veins because coming into this week, there was one scenario where it would be complete and utter chaos. Bama win. That domino has fallen. Mm -hmm. FSU win. We're still yet to see right. if that has fallen. And if it does, utter chaos ensues. The committee, they are watching the games together this week, today, for the first time all year. So we're going to uh, – they're having these same conversations totally, right totally. now. 13 people trying to decide which of these four right. teams. It is now left to Georgia, Alabama, and Texas. 
I guess if you want to throw in Ohio State for you Ohio State Buckeye fans, but just just give it up. Nah, it's, it's <laughs> probably it over up. for Ohio State. Uh, but yeah. Those what's, three teams. What's the most intriguing matchup to you now that we, we all have, you know, our four? What, what do you think the best matchup would be? Because we're, we, we got the Rose Bowl, and then we got in New Orleans. One versus four in New Orleans, two versus three hmm. uh, if in, we could, in the Rose if we Bowl. Could so. bring, if we could bring back um, our uh, top four, uh, I would like to look oh, at that. Because – so what we have here is mats where it will be Washington versus Michigan. I would love that matchup because that Michigan defense – who's the best quarterback they've seen all year? That's right. Talia Tagovailoa, right? It's yeah. going to be this guy right here. It's yeah, comic court. So, so, so it, it's sure. going yeah. to be a shock to yeah. their system when they see that ball come out of Michael. They Penix's haven't seen hand. an offense, a, a coaching staff, mm -hmm. and, and an aggressive nature the way that Washington plays. So that in itself will be somewhat of a culture shock for them. And also their their defensive backfield is really talented. So that would be. Uh, such a fun matchup to see those two go. And, then, and then right off the back, let's settle this, homie. Right here, Texas, Alabama. Dude, I would Te love it. <laughs> Texas keeps on it. saying we beat you in week two, but Alabama says we were a different team back then. Yeah. So right off the bat, let's get to it. Let's not even wait. Uh, last year, we could have gotten the Ohio State-Michigan rematch, which I would have loved to see in the first round. Yeah, but what then rethinking. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, come on. But we weren't able to get that. I would – be so happy if we could get Texas and Don't Alabama and then Michigan and Washington. It would be a great college football playoff. I think with Check this all out. four I, of these, I like Matt's top four in terms of the matchups. The the all I think what's great about these four teams though, I think the committee, you really can't make a mistake with who you match up sure. with each other. They're I all think, pretty even this year. They I think they're all yeah. even. I think they all have certain strengths and weaknesses that play into each other. You know, so a Michigan versus a Texas would be awesome. A Michigan versus an Alabama would be awesome. To see Washington versus any of the other three with their high-powered offense, Dylan Johnson after being healthy for a month, that would be a great matchup too. And, of course, to see a rematch of Texas-Alabama, you know, and what's taken place from the beginning of the year till now, I mean, all of these things, just, just great drama involved with every one of these matchups. All right, so we did, uh, we did a little vote. Shout out to uh, everyone working behind the scenes because they just asked it. They said, which CFP prediction list makes the most sense? Uh, we're approaching over 100 votes, so if you're in the chat, go ahead and vote. And Matt, right now you're leading at 40%. They wow. think yours is the best. Mine is 33%. Sam, you are behind at a 26%. That's to be expected. <laughs> That's to be expected because that was the at t countdown to the CFP the season, so national <laughs> <laughs> championship. Uh, that's to be expected because <laughs> when you look at how we picked games this year, it <laughs> makes <laughs> perfect sense. Give something. Try to take a red just so I can breathe.